Well, their mission is to find the right dog for the right forever family. And joining us today from Ruby's Rescue and Retreat, we have volunteer Lisa Dunback, as well as Zorro. Hi. He is such a good boy. Introduce us. All right. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for having yes. us. So this is Zorro. He's a two and a half year old uh, standard poodle. And he was owner relinquished. He was formerly a breeder. And so his preference, uh, he's such a loving, loving guy. So he might be a he's little... not too sure, <laughs> yeah, he's not too sure about that. <laughs> yeah, he's backing down a little. Um, but he, so he has so much potential to be a sweet, sweet boy. I mean, he constantly comes up in my face and, and wants to be loved on. He's not exactly excited about smaller animals and male animals. So, so possibly... He's the alpha dog. He's the alpha, and he wants to be in charge. Yeah. So maybe an, uh, an only pup home, or maybe like a larger with a female or something. But, but he's a good, good boy. He's a great car rider. Oh. He had a fun time coming over here. We'd go back and forth to the windows. <laughs> they hide all the truckers. Oh. Yeah. And then I told him he gets ice cream after this. Oh. So he's like, yeah. <laughs> he likes the one. he likes the music. So I mean, he's had all kinds of fun experiences today. He, it's so funny because just watching him with you all hour, he's like he's like the type that can't get close enough. He's yes. like, love me, be right next he's to me. He's gonna be great, isn't he? Someone's gonna be so lucky to get this guy. And so. what I love most about poodles, I'm not a big fan of dog hair places. You got it. These are like hypoallergenic dogs, hypoallergenic. right? Poodles are exactly no, no shedding shed. rarely smell unless they go rolling something that they shouldn't <laughs> um and he's and he's, i mean this is just the best fur to love on you know because it's just curly and yes. soft yeah. and he's being a little shy he might be tired he hasn't made a peep yeah, no. that, he's so I quiet he uh -uh. no he's a good good boy oh my goodness oh. he's, he's so a good boy calm. yeah yeah, okay. Good demeanor. We need to check out some of these other dogs that Let's are up do for it. grabs there at Ruby's Rescue because they are equally adorable. Oh, she's got so many great dogs. This is Kaylin. So she's got some doodles in that um, are a little scary, um, but they they um, not scary. Not we're not scared of them, but they're scared of us. So so they just need lots of love. And there's three of them. So that's Kaylin, and there's Senna. And aren't they gorgeous? They are so cute. I love little photo shoot too. I, I, I they always send these beautiful <laughs> photos. Miss Sheila, I saw them today, and oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. They look so shiny and soft. Yeah. So oh sweet. So sweet. Those are beautiful, yeah. and they look so happy. Oh, and there's another oh, that's one. That's a cute name too. There's Scotland. Yeah, I love their names. Yeah, you, that's a great name. Okay, oh, this good. one. Smiling at us. That is smiling. And I'm not sure of his name. I saw him today and he was smiling like that at me today. Aww. Too. He's so <laughs> photogenic. Yeah. yeah. Ready for a home. Oh, oh my Lord. So I did see this puppy today and he and his mama are just the best of friends. And so she had a litter of five babies. And so she, uh, he is the last one left and they were loving on each other today. Aww. So we'll see when he goes. I'm sure she's going to be heartbroken, but she needs a home too. Yes. yes. Well, so many great animals there at Ruby's Rescue. What else is happening this summer? I know 4th of July is coming up and that's kind of a, a tough time for our, it, our furry friends. It really is and that's one time that we got to be very careful about if you've got dogs that are afraid of fireworks or loud noises you know try to get your windows shut try to distract them as much as possible some people talk to their vet to see if there's some medication that they can use but you know it's it's much better to if folks are thinking about buying fireworks please consider buying food and donating it to a rescue in your area mm -hmm. because we'd much rather make a difference than make a noise mm -hmm. um, let the city let those fireworks off and keep them out of the neighborhoods <laughs> and um, you know if you're not sure if, how your dog's gonna react to fireworks just kind of place them on your TV really low and see how they react to oh, that. Oh, that's a good that tip. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. I know my dogs shake like little leaves. Oh, like they're it's, just scared it's terrifying that. to go through. And they just want to be held too. Like they, they just want to get as close as possible. They do. And that's the best thing to do is yes. just hold them. Be yeah. with them. Be with them. Yeah. Um, really quick, adoption process look like for you guys. What does that look like? It's pretty simple. Um, there is a, on the Facebook group, there is a pinned post that you can get to the, um, the application and you just need to fill out some information all of the information's on there please have some um some references too we have to have those references and jean ann hurt who owns the rescue will i'll call all those references check everything out she's 
amazing at putting the right dog with the right family. Yeah. And so just be patient with the process because it's really important to make sure we get it right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm hopeful we have found Zorro, his forever family. Oh, today. me too. I wasn't Lovable so sure. Guy. I think that the woman that was in here before your friend <laughs> I know. was in love. Yes, she I think was. so too. Yes. All right. Well, if you would like to learn more about adopting Zorro, any of their animals, we will connect you over on our website, ciliving.tv, and you'll see the whole rundown of all the cuties that you can adopt. Yes.